Welcome back, weirdos. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I have got some new stuff here from Shimmer and Shine. This is not a collab. This is just some of her new stuff. If you haven't gotten our collab kit and you want it, I'll leave a picture over here if you didn't see it in a video down below if you want to check out the whole thing. It is still available. I'll leave the links down in the box. So she sent over these adorable little sweater stickers these are not like water decals they're just stickers but i figured this would be a great time to show you how you can get a sweater nail which i know is super popular and i will have a video coming up of how to do an actual sweater nail with like gel polish and stuff but if you are not artistically inclined <laughs> or if you want to do this on your dominant hand with your non-dominant hand stickers are a great a what a great <laughs> great <laughs> way to do that and i'm going to show you how to do it uh right here right now these are the colors that she sent over they're absolutely adorable they're like I, for me at least i got super winter vibes without being traditional winter which i absolutely love so i'm going in here i'm doing a regular gel application with my dip powder and i'm going to dip into this color love at frost bite i thought it was so sweet so darling and dear and adorable i could not help myself and i'm gonna pair this up with a basic white and that's something that i really appreciate about angela's colors from shimmer and shine they are so versatile and you can really use them with anything you have from her or anybody else so we're gonna do a very simple pairing this is gonna be a very simple mani i don't know if you guys have noticed i know you have <laughs> because it's been my trend for the last couple of months at least, I've been in a very simplistic, well, maybe not my last upload. That was a little a little out there, but I kind of liked it. <laughs> that was like my New Year's Eve type Manny look. But simple has really been my thing. I have a great appreciation for those of you that like to do crazy and like out the box and very loud Manny's, if you will. And, and I, I don't hate them. I, I think they have their time and their place. But for me, the simple looks that are everyday wearable and easily achievable is so my cup of tea and just kind of my wheelhouse. So that's what you're going to get today. I Like I said, I'm doing a basic gel application. This is nothing crazy, nothing complicated. Just applying my gel base to the nail and pouring over my dip powder. I know that people do dip into their powder when they're applying gel base as their means to adhere the powder i for some reason i just feel uncomfortable doing that i'm i'm me and i'm going to zhuzh up my nails and do something weird and wonky i am doing this on my dominant hand using my non-dominant hand if i'm gonna mess it up i'm gonna do it that way so i'm just gonna pour over and not take the chance of mushing up my gel base but if you're um, a dip girl or if you're using dip liquids you don't have to pour over i find that pouring over your powder makes for a thinner application so if you have had issues with your dip nails getting bulky or super thick or you just have a ton of product on your nail you have to do a lot of filing pour over might be a viable alternative for you So I'm going in now with the Eye Gel Beauty Baby Powder. This is just a pure white dip powder, my favorite white dip powder, if I'm being completely honest. And these two nails, my index and my ring, are the two that are going to get the sweater nail design. So I'm gonna do my pour over on these two nails. Most of this is in real time. I am doing two pour overs per nail. This is my usual when I'm doing um, gel liquids. And as you can see also, I'm not sure if you guys can notice on camera as well as I could in person, but you have a lot of control over gel liquids. If you have not tried gel liquids with your dip powder yet, I encourage you to give it a go. If you have gel allergies, I get it, I understand. Um, there are hypoallergenic gel liquids, if you will. Check out Light Elegance, Luminary. If you're allergic to Hema, check out Dipalicious and Manny Boss. Um, some great gel liquids for those of you who suffer with gel allergies. Um, like I was saying, 
<laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> Not even a clue. Oh yeah. So um, I can get my layers very, very thin with gel base and gel cures in a lamp. It's not an air cure. And I am curing um, every layer, by the way, minimum 30 seconds in your lamp. I lean more towards the one minute mark when it comes to um, dip powder mixed with gel polish or gel base. Um, but I can get these layers really thin. Whereas with gel liquids, you can get your layers thin, but I find the thinner your layers, the quicker that base dries and it could be a struggle sometimes. So that's why I prefer gel. You have so much time to work. You're going to get an even nail. It's just my preferred method these days. Uh, I'm going to encapsulate with a coat of gel base. Um, I've gotten asked a lot why gel base and not gel top. Gel base grips onto your dip powder better than gel top will. So it's possible when you go to file, if you encapsulate with gel top, that that gel top could just peel right off. You can do gel base and then a gel top if you want to go that route. If you feel like you have more filing you want to do and you need a nice herb thicker layer as a buffer between your dip powder and your file. Cleanse the tacky layer, filed and buffed off camera, and now I'm going in with these adorable sweater stickers. What? This was so freaking easy. It took me a minute to figure out how I was going to do this, <laughs> especially with my left hand. As you all know, I am I'm quite useless with my left hand, but as long as you I trimmed them by the way because they are they're long so I'm going to measure them against the nail the adhesive is very good but I was able to take it off after I measured it against my nail trim it apply it the adhesion did not go away which I very much appreciated and you can do that so I'm going to take it off give it a quick trim and apply it back to my nail and then I'm going to encapsulate that with a matte top coat so it doesn't go anywhere So I went ahead and cured the matte top coat atop the sweater nails for a minute. Now I'm going to go in with the glossy top coat also from IGL Beauty and get that on the non-sweater nails. <laughs> so we are mixing textures, we're mixing finishes, and I, I, I'm really feeling like the mix and match matte and glossy manis. I know that's a tender topic for some of y'all. Some of you guys are all glossy or all matte. But the mixing, I know, is not everybody's thing. And you don't have to. You can do these all glossy if you want, all matte if you want. Whatever your heart desires, you go ahead and do because they are your nails. At the end of the day, you got to be happy. I, I, I don't care which finish you put on your nails as long as you're happy with them. So I'm going to get the glossy on all the nails. I do a little upside down flippity flip. And that just levels out the gel polish. If you wanted to use um, dip liquids for this, you can use your dip top coat. No big deal. For the matte nails, though, I would not top coat that. I would just do a capsulation, encapsulation with clear dip powder and give it a buff, activate it, and then be done. And that's how you can get that matte look without using gel top coat. Um, 
And if you want to do glossy, go glossy. Use your glossy whatever dip top coat that you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get this on, give it a cure for a full minute. And now we have a finished mani. I'm getting in my little cuticle oil moment here. Give that a good massage. And this is the finished look. I absolutely love the way this came out. It's so pretty so feminine so beautiful so perfect for winter thank you so much to shimmer and shine angela you know how much i love your face thanks for sending over these adorable colors for me to play with thanks for spending some time with me today i hope y'all have a fabulous rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one love you bye